Hello Kinder friends, it's Miss Muite for your phonics lesson today. We are going to practice our vowel sounds. Repeat after me. A. Apple A. Ah. E. Ed A. Ah. I. Itch I. Eh. O. Octopus ah. You up ah. Great job. Okay, friends. Now it's time to get your ears ready because we are going to listen to some words and some sounds so we can tap the words out. The first word is rip. Rip. The first sound is er. What letter says er? R. The next sound is i. And that is i. What sound says p? P. Let's tap it out. Ready? Er, i, p, rip. Good job. Your next word is not. Not. The first sound is n. What letter says n? If you said n, you are correct. The next sound is a. O. The next sound is t. If you said t, you are correct. Let's tap it out. Ready? N. A. T. Not. Good job. The last word we are going to build is lug. Lug. The first sound is ul. What letter says ul? If you said l, you are correct. The next sound is a. Uh. U. Good job. The last sound is g. G. Good job. Now I'm going to ask you to tap this word out all by yourself. Then we can try it together. Go ahead. Now let's try it together. Ul, a, g, lug. Good job. You are getting so good at this. Now that we built words together using our letter tiles, we are going to build words together on our dry erase board. So go ahead and grab your board that has your lines on it or just a piece of paper. While you're doing that, Liz is going to say hello and tell you how much she misses you. He is going to hang out right over here and watch you write your words. Go ahead and listen for the sounds. We will, I will say the sounds and then we will write it together. Okay, our first sound is G. That sound, that letter is G. The next sound is uh. Uh. That letter is U. The last sound is mmm. Mmm. And that letter is M. Get your owl beaks ready and let's tap it out. Ready? G. Uh. Mmm. Gum. Good job, go ahead and erase it. Our next word is gonna be a name. So the first letter is gonna be a capital letter. And that letter says B. B. And that letter is B. Since it's a name, it's gonna start with a capital letter. The next sound is E. E. That letter is E. Good job. The last letter is N. N. That letter is N. Get your owl beaks ready. Let's tap out this name. Ready? B. E. N. Ben. Good job. We have one more word to write together. Now for this word, I'm going to get my handy dandy digraph chart. There we
we go. So this word is going to start with a digraph, and that digraph is sh, and that digraph is s h. The next sound is ah, ah. That letter is o. The last sound is. And that letter is P. Let's go ahead and tap it out. Remember, this digraph is only one sound. Ready? Sh, ah, p, shop. Good job. I thought that word was going to be challenging, but you rocked it. Remember, you can practice as many words as you want on your dry erase board to pr challenge yourself and practice writing your letters correctly. For this very last part of our lesson, you will need your book called My Digraph Book. And it says bye and has a line. You are going to write your, your name there. But before we get started on this book, I would like us to review our digraphs. Repeat after me. W-H whistle w. C H chin ch S H ship sh T H thumb C K sock K So we are going to do the next two pages together and then you can do the rest of the pages by yourself. So I put this handy dandy chart up here to help us remember our digraphs. Let's read this sentence. I see some sight words there that will help us read this sentence. I like number. Hmm. I don't really know what that is so I'm going to use my picture clues. Oh, I know that is a number three. Ooh, I hear a digraph at the beginning of the number three. What digraph do you hear at the beginning of the number three? Not WH, not W, not CH. Thumb, three. Do you hear TH at the beginning of three? You are so right, great job. You can write T H. Let's read our sentence again. I like number three. Great job. Now we can go to the next page. The next page says this bug is on a huh, brand, brand. Hmm, let me look at my picture. Oh, it looks like there's some leaves, and I know usually leaves are on a branch. Looks like this digraph is going to be at the end of the word branch. Go ahead and look at this chart and see what digraph is at the end of the word branch. Ooh, chin, ch, branch. I hear ch, ch, at the end of the word branch, do you? Good job. So we can write the digraph C H to make the word branch. Let's read our sentence again. This bug is on a branch. We did such a great job of working together to finish the first two pages of our digraph book. Now you are going to use this chart to figure out what digraphs you need to finish the word in your sentence. It was great learning with you guys today. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I love you so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day of learning. Bye my friends.